trendy semicircle patterns in Canva. So let's start by opening a video doc in Canva. The first thing you would do is to create a circle by pressing C on your keyboard and make sure it's centered, then scale it like this. Then let's add some colors. So let's make the background color blue. And the circle orange. Once you're done with the colors, let's now animate the circle using Match and Move. Duplicate this page. And on the second page, enlarge the circle just before it touches the edge. Click the transition button. Select Match and Move. And there you have it. Duplicate page 1. And place it in front of page 2, making it page 3. Make sure that the Match and Move is applied as well. Let's make their durations 1.5 seconds. Feel free to duplicate the pages until you have 8 to 10 pages in total. To make things faster, you can actually press Command D to duplicate the pages. But for this tutorial, I wanted to show how it's done manually. Once the pages are set, Make sure all the pages duration are set to 1.5 seconds, so kindly adjust accordingly. Now, our aim is to animate semicircle patterns like this. Although Canva offers semicircle shapes in its library, we still won't be able to produce such animation with the existing Canva presets. Therefore, as a workaround, we'll be using the approach called Bake-In. Okay, let's pause for a moment, but what the hell is Bake-In? Bake-In refers to the process of permanently embedding or incorporating certain effects, layers, and presets into a video file itself. It's like mixing ingredients into a cake batter. You can separate them after warm, hence the term Bake-In. To do the Bake-In process in Canva, you just have to export your video, or in this case, your animated circles as MP4. Save it on your computer, where you can easily access it. Then export it back to Canva by simply dragging it like this. Since the animation is baked in, you won't be able to recolor or change the animation of the video. But you can now apply cropping as you please. Change the background color to blue to hide your bake and video's edges and to make things seamless. Start with the main circle in the middle, then crop it until there's no space on the sides left. This part is a bit tricky since you won't be able to see their sizes in real time as you scroll through them. So the approach should be trial and error. We don't want the circle to be cropped when it's blown up. So please crop the video thoroughly, like how I'm doing it right now. Once you're happy with the result, do a final check-in by playing it back. At this point, you can now start creating the semicircles. The idea is to make the semicircle hidden when it shrinks. So do your best to hide by cropping it.
Again, this part is trial and error, so please be patient with it. Once done, place it first on the right side of the main circle, then review and make necessary adjustments until you get this layout during playback. Then duplicate the semicircles and stack them toward the right. We want to show a little definition to each of the semicircle. So on this part, I'm adjusting their spaces to give them enough breathing room. Let's see if this is good. Mm, maybe a little more. Is it good? Well, let's move it a little more. Maybe that should do it. Almost there. Let's tweak it a bit more. Just a tiny tweak here and there. And that's it. Select them all. Duplicate them. Rotate them by 180 degrees. Then fill out the space on the left. Make sure everything is centered. And it should play like this. Now get this photo by typing this code on the search bar of the elements panel. Apply background remover. And place it on the center. Now, let's access the layers by clicking position. The main circle should be the last layer or layer 8. The closest semicircles from the main circle should be layers 6 and 7. The middle one should be layers 4 and 5. And the farthest should be layers 2 and 3. Select the main circle and the semicircles. Press right click. Then select Show Timing. At this point, you'll notice that a purple bar will pop up on top of the timeline. Click the arrow icon on its right. Then you'll see the timing layers. Hold these handles right here and drag them all to the left by a couple of seconds to create a wiggle room or an allowance. By this time, we will stagger their animation by tweaking their timings. Move the next layers to the right by 2 milliseconds and so on until you create a ladder-like formation with 2 milliseconds difference. And finally, make sure to drag their handles all the way to the right to close them and to make sure they won't be cut.
finally, type beyond listening using the League Spartan typeface. Scale it up like this. Then place it on the leftmost side. Duplicate it and move it to the opposite side. Then replace the text with listening. Do some final adjustments. And make sure they are centered. Then have it adapt the color of the background so the text reveal during the animation. Hit play and you're done.